First of all, let's give uh, Desiree another hand. Now, I'm, I'm gonna come down a little lower. Uh, we are very excited. Um, uh, the Nat Turner team, we've been able to do some tremendous things through the grace of God uh, without any funding. Um, his story just brings together people who just wants to be a part of it that's not looking for any monetary gain at the moment, okay? But just from the sheer spirit and movement that black folks need to take today and the things that are on our televisions and on movie screens that don't depict us in a, the light that, that it's an honest light that we need to show how we were assembled in this country and how, uh, not just how we were assembled, how the assemblers, if that's a word, because I've been known to make words up, so let's just go there. <laughs> the assemblers of this country, um, <laughs> somebody's Googling it right now. Uh, you know, they're responsible for, for their actions as well as we are ours. Um, and black folks today, in order for us to move ahead, we need to know our history. We need to know it in a raw fashion and as well as a watered down fashion. It's a, it's a balance there. That some of the things that we went through for 100, 200, 300, 400 years, I think it's up to 500 now. So uh, Kenyan, uh, Kenya is, did a terrific job in just putting together this blueprint, this foundation, this script. And then uh, Mr. Charles Jennings has taken it to the next level in assembling um, an amazing cast. I was gonna say producers first, like this um, beautiful young lady here. Uh, I'm gonna let her speak in a second, but right now it's my time. Because uh, <laughs> I'm a bully. I'm just gonna hog the mic. No, <laughs> seriously, uh, we, we have a tremendous team and it, it's just growing, you know, every day. So without any further ado, I'm gonna let Ms. Sherry speak a little bit and then. Uh, maybe I'll come back and finish up with some jokes. We're very excited about the Nat Turner Stream. And again, we thank Desiree for having us come out. Wow! 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 Yes! But the Nat Turner Stream, we feel, is very timely with all that's going on right now with the white on black crimes and the black on black crimes. And even the two young men that came up here and just rapped, um, we're trying to bring that conscious level back to our, our youth because right now it's missing. Now I know a lot of times as I was growing up and I watched the movie Roots and other movies that depict slavery, that we all talked about, well, if it was me, I would never be a slave. But what we don't realize, what we're not teaching our children, is that when they get incarcerated, they're enslaved. Mm. Because the 13th Amendment claims that slavery has been abolished, except in the, in the institution of being institutionalized. So we want to make sure that we teach our kids that you become a slave when you become incarcerated. So we need to do better for our children so they don't end up in that there. And there's so many things that are against them right now in the school systems, um, just everywhere. There's nothing that we, there's really nowhere that we, that we can, that there's nowhere where our kids are not being um, bought out, sought out and they're being, but <laughs> people are against them mm -hmm. um, and they're being caught up in the system. The school is right now is kind of placing them there. Because right now, instead of, I know my kids were in high school, and they went through you know, elementary, junior high, and high school. They got a diploma at the end of that. Now they're getting, a lot of our kids are receiving a certificate, which doesn't mean anything. It doesn't equate to a high school diploma, and it will not give them the jobs that they need. So we have to make sure, we have to advocate for our children, and we have to come back to being that, um, that village that raises our children. We have to look out for each other's kids. Because if we don't know, we just do not know. And we don't know how to protect our children if we don't know what's out there and how we can protect them. So the Nat Turner story kind of gives them a hero, somebody to look after, somebody to look up to it to um, you know, put on that pedestal. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway. <laughs> it's a really, <laughs> it's, it's a good movie. We're very excited about it. Um, we're starting a, a, a movement with this movie. We want to get the truth out there. So the really good thing about this, our version of the Nat Turner story is we have the backing of the Nat Turner family. So we're very excited. Beautiful. Amen. We're excited about the cast that Charles We're excited about the cast that Charles actually pulled together. And again, he did this without, we don't have money in place yet, but these actors came on board without, without an offer. 
Greg Gibbler Underwood. We have um, we have the Lesser Bay. <laughs> we have we have Stephen Russell. We have Mike Epps. We have Lisa Red. We have Jason Stanley. We have Lily. We have Kim Whitley. We have a very good staff of people that are coming together in order to put this together. Okay. Hey. Sarah Mark. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, you know, <laughs> 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 Let's be the best girls. We have Wade, our young Nat Turner. Oh yeah, stand up, Wade. Stand up, young Nat. Becky, David. So we have a very, a very strong cast of people coming together to bring this to, you know, bring this to life. We're very excited about that. Uh, so, why did the chicken cross the room? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, come on back up this way. Come on back up. Come on, Mama. And we just left this, Rita. Oh, what happened is she came up for work. Oh, thank you. I'm so, I, I am so honored to be a part No, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time, everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah.